Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the MATLAB programming environment. So let's go and open MATLAB, which you'll find in all programs. Uh, I'm using version 2011A, so I'll click on this. We'll see a splash screen as MATLAB opens up. And then we see the full programming environment. Okay, first up, the command window, most important, right in the center. This is where we type commands. So let's just, um, for the purposes of ex an example, say x is equal to 3. And we'll create a variable called x. Over on the right-hand side, we can see a copy of the memory. And in the memory is the variable x. And the value is 3, and its size is uh, 1 by 1. It's a 1 by 1 matrix. The text is probably a little bit small here, so let me show you how to make the text bigger. It will also help in the video. So I'll go to File, in the top left corner. Choose Preferences, and we'll go to Fonts, and choose, maybe let's go a bit bigger, 18, Jumbo. Okay. Um, I noticed as well that this is version 2011. Uh, the menu area at the top in version uh, released 2012 is a little bit different, but um, most of the buttons are still there, just in a different place. So we've just looked at Command Window in the center, where most commands can be written. Workspace in the top right I have here, where we can see copies of uh, our variables in memory. Then in the bottom right hand corner is the command history, where I can see um, a bunch of commands which I've been typing into the command window. Uh, it's a history of copy. And on the left hand side I have a current folder, which is at the moment it's in user Stephen R. Documents MATLAB, and I can see a copy of the files contained in there. I can change that to be somewhere else. So here's a bunch of folders which I've visited in the past um, and I can see it's basically yeah, like Windows Explorer a file browser. Um, last thing up is just to talk a little bit about how to uh, arrange and view these windows. In the desktop area, uh, I think it might have a different name in, in the 2012 version, I have a list of toggle switches which I can turn things on and off like turn off the command window and my most important it disappears. I can then click and turn it back on. And the same for all the others. So say desktop uh, workspace. I can turn the workspace off or choose to view it again. Uh, so that's the toggling windows on and off. I can also move them around. This is a little bit fiddly. I don't find it doesn't work very well. But you can drag it around and uh, put it in different places on the screen. But sometimes it misbehaves. That was pretty well behaved. Um, last thing up is the uh, help desk. If you want to get help from MATLAB, and we'll come back to this later, uh, you can type in help desk and the MATLAB help will pop up and we can search for functions and um, uh, different help in here. I'll come back to this in a later tutorial and we'll talk more about it. And finally, to close MATLAB, you just type exit and it's gone.